Hey guys, welcome back to the Pretend Engineering channel. Um, so what I've been working on the last week or so is making a robot arm that I could mount this hunting knife to. Um, I don't know why, but I started out making the robot arm and got kind of bored, so now we're gonna make a stabby bot, which should be pretty cool. I've got three servos, a bunch of 3D printed parts, some hardware, M3, and uh, just the tools I need. So the goals of this project are don't get stabbed, and that's it, that's the only goal. We're not gonna get stabbed. So I'll assemble it, and hopefully it all goes smooth, and we'll go over the code. And uh, yeah, the goal is to mount the hunting knife. It feels like it's gonna be way too heavy for the servo motors. So as a backup, I've got this little utility knife that should provide more stabbing action. So let's get into it. Sweet, so the base came together pretty good. This is a pretty standard way of mounting an Arduino to these kind of robot arms. So the base of the robot will be here over top of this servo. And the servo is gonna turn it left and right. And this is our brain here, our Arduino. It's a microcontroller and it just stands on standoffs. And everything's screwed in through the base. Seems pretty solid, so we'll just keep going with the robot over here and uh, hopefully it all goes smooth like it's going so far. Sweet. So, something I want to mention quick to any of you guys out there trying to work with 3D printed parts and servos is um, attaching servos to your parts. So that was a question I always had was how do I actually print out a part and get a servo onto it to move that part? And so your servo comes with this servo horn and these screws. So if you print a profile that you can slide the horn into and screw it on, like this, then you can take a servo motor, attach your horn onto it, and then now you've got a 3D printed part that can be attached to a motor. Pretty cool, right? Um, that one, I had to go through a few different people's build kits I found the idea from the Mi Arm build somewhere on screen right now, and I'll link it in the description. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's attach our uh, motion parts all together now that we've got the servo horns all attached. And uh, yeah, so far so good.
Sweet. So we are assembled. Everything but the knife, of course, still sitting here. Bam. Um, first, though, before I mount the knife, I want to make sure that I can uh, coat all the motors properly and wire it up so that it's going to work good. Um, so yeah, we got left turn, right turn, and stab. And both the motors are operating together. I figured we might need the power to complete the stabbing motion. Um, generally, you would not want two servo motors doing the same operation. Uh, an ideal design for this would be to have a higher torque servo right in the middle, operating the whole arm, just to make sure that uh, it's all in sync. You know, it's hard to get these two motors to do exactly the same thing at exactly the same time and not fight each other. But anyways, let's code this up and wire it up and uh, get the motors moving. And if that works, then we'll put the knife on and try and stab some stuff. Cool. This big mess here is our wiring. Um, the idea behind it is the Arduino, our microcontroller, can read the change in voltage when we turn these two potentiometers. So we turn a potentiometer, the Arduino reads the change in voltage, and then through these yellow cables, it tells our servo motors how much power and what direction to move based on the input they're receiving from the Arduino, which is receiving information from the potentiometers. So the power from our Arduino powers the potentiometers, and the power from this battery pack here powers the servos, and everything shares the same ground, which is key when you are working with two power sources in one project. Cool. Hopefully this works. All right, Stabby Bot version one, no knife edition is uh, up and running. And it's pretty angry. I don't know if it's running like it's supposed to. Uh, here we go, are you ready? It does move though. <laughs> A little bit after it spazzes. I think it needs some capacitors or something to control the the signal, but it does stab. Are you ready? Stab! Let's turn it sideways a little bit. There we go. Stab! <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Okay, yeah, let's uh let's put a blade on it. <laughs> and see what it does. Okay, <laughs> got the knife on there. It was a little sketchy. Um, I give this a 0% chance of working because the knife is so heavy on there. But it looks really cool, right? I was kind of hoping it would stab like a Cobra Strike or something. Anyways, let's uh, keep our hands clear of this thing. And uh, 
see what see what she can do. Are you ready? I'm gonna put the power on and hopefully it doesn't just stab like crazy. Oh, oh I got you. The Arduino's not plugged in. Okay. Round two. We're steering clear of the turn stab radius. Here we go. Seems, seems good so far. <laughs> sort of stabs. Does it spin with the knife though? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> Oh, spazzing out. Calm yourself. Be calm. Okay, here we go. Stab. And stab. <laughs> okay, obviously some improvements need to be made, but uh, that was pretty cool. I'm into it. I'm into it. Maybe in the future we'll just get a bigger high torque servo, upscale this whole thing, and uh, see how it goes that time. All right, so we know that Stabby Bot can stab, but the real question is what can it stab? And I think the ultimate test is really the pop can. So we're gonna see if it stabs through this pop can, then I'm calling this project a success. Even though the robot can't pull the knife back on its own. It's still hilarious. Okay. Hopefully when I plug the power in, it doesn't go just ballistic. Sometimes it does. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. Okay, let's line her up. Seems pretty good. Little bit left if we can. There we go. Okay. A little bit more left. Seems pretty lined up. Here we go. Stab. Oh, <laughs> air ball. <laughs> okay. We're retracted. Let's, let's line up a little bit better. Okay, stab attempt, round two. Stab! Oh, come on! I'm <laughs> not even close. <laughs> oh, well. We tried. <laughs> this thing freaks me out. <laughs> okay. Well, that's enough fun for this video, I think. Uh, stabby bot. We'll, we'll touch it up. And I'll come back to you guys in a couple weeks with a revised version. And hopefully it's way less sketchy and jittery. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll see you next video. Happy designing.